This is just our hotel and you can see the background radiation is 0.27 microsieverts. So it's in the middle of the night, it has perfect silence here. Nicht so direkt drauf leuchten, dann sieht's halt weg. And we're standing on uranium tailings and as you can see the background radiation is 0.4, over 0.4 microsievert here. In the middle of the night, we're trying to find uranium atoms. It's just pitch black forest around us. But as I said, we're standing on uranium tailings. And I just found something really nice. This green stuff here is uranocercite. And as you can see, we have like four microsieverts here, six microsieverts. Da sieht man schon den Glimmer. Hier, guck mal. Noch ein paar Uranatome. These are the so-called Spitzkegelhalden. That's just they dumped uranium tailings there as well. And now we're at Hartenstein, shaft 371. And those are the tailings, or at least a small part of the tailings. And we're here with a professional guide, a mineral collector for years. And he brought um, metal detectors and a proper Geiger counter. And that is the guy with his Geiger counter probe in front of shaft 371. This probe has actually been used by the uranium miners. It is much less sensitive than my Gamma Scout and thus much more suitable for finding uranium in the field as my Geiger counter just goes off all the time. While his is really um, yeah, insensitive, so you can locate uh, specific spots, so-called radiation hot pockets, which will indicate primary uranium ore on this site. So let's see if we can find something. Background radiation is up to 0.6 microsievert here, so we'll see. Sorry for speaking German in this video, but as I was with two Germans, that was kind of natural. You know. <coughs> but as you can hear, we just found some pitch blender uranium ore. Bei so großen Stücken kann ich sogar noch mit meinem Ding finden. Mm. <laughs> Bergenstreuberg. And how it has changed within one year. We just spotted this. Can you see this? It's like a piece of metal with all kinds of rocks with the uranosurcite on it. And with uranium minerals. So it looks like as if somebody was looking for minerals but did not want uranium minerals so he put them up for the next person who might want to collect them instead of just throwing them away or whatever. I think that's really, really nice. Thanks a lot for my birthday present, whoever you are. Over one microsievert in this area. Okay, think that there's probably more each secondary uranium ore to be found. I can't also what was going on. Oh, here's what another one. Another. Danach haben die bestimmt gesucht. Here's noch ein Uran. I got two in one, that is um, uranocercite again, and this is some really beautiful black mineral. I'm not sure what it is, I will have to ask a pro mineral collector for this, but this looks very interesting. Maybe it's precious or something. And as the sun is setting, you can see everything glow in here. Green glow here, all around. That's uranocercite. 
pretty much everywhere in here. It's really beautiful. See that? It's everywhere. God, this is so beautiful. Everywhere. When you put your torch, you find your rhinoceros site. It's Sunday, my last day at Bergen. And I found a quite extreme area here. Extreme for once because I gotta be really careful and not get too close to that stuff because if it com comes down, you're dead. But it's also extreme radiation wise. As you can see, we have like over seven microsieverts in this area. It's really hot here, and you can see some green stuff there. What I found so far is these. You can see. They're pretty pure little crystals of your rhinoceros size. Put some dirt on, but they're pure. <laughs> 